Hi, this is Mike from Minimal 3DP, and today I'm just going to do a refresher video on how to calculate the E steps, otherwise known as rotational distance and clipper. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm starting with my Ender 3 V2 Neo that I recently installed a Big Tree Tech Mana E3 EZ board in, and I haven't configured everything yet. I don't. I haven't had time to, to put it all together. So I'm going to start today with calculating the rotational distance. So this is actually pretty simple. And in the past, I've put together my clipper calibration spreadsheet. So I'm going to start with that. So I have a tab down here at the bottom for rotational distance. So I'm just going to click on that. And this is actually really easy to do. So I'm going to start with pair of calipers. I'm going to turn them on and zero them out. And then let's take a look at the printer itself. So, so I have my calipers here, as you can see, and I'm going to open those up to 70 or thereabouts. So I'm trying to get this right at 70. It doesn't have to be exact. And what I'm going to do is tighten this. So now this is 70 point one nine or 70.2 i think that's fine so I'm just going to measure right here on my filament i'm going to grab my marker that might help so i'm grabbing my marker i'm going to start down here where the filament enters the extruder and i'm going to add a really dark black line and i say a really dark black line here because my eyesight is horrible. And besides having hearing issues now, my eyesight's bad. So I need to be able to see this. So I have my mark there, and that's at 70.2. So let's go back over the spreadsheet. So now in the spreadsheet, I'm going to go up here in my initial mark, and I'm going to put 70.2. And I'm going to extrude 50 millimeters. And here are my commands I need to use. So let's switch tabs. And so I have main sale open for my printer. And I'm going to type in G91. Well, actually, let's make a small change here. I need to actually heat the extruder up. So I'm going to heat it up to my normal print temperature. And let me pause and I'll come back. We'll let that heat up. Okay, so sorry about that again. I, I constantly forget to heat this up. So I heated it up to my normal printing temperature, which was for me for PLA Plus is about 205. And I should also mention I'm using my PLA Plus from a Saturday. They sent me some PLA Plus to test. And so far I actually love their PLA Plus. And I've actually ordered another couple of rolls on top of what they've sent me. So I'm going to really recommend their, their filament. So I have my command. I'm going to start with G91. So it's G91. So I've entered that into my console. And my next command is going to feed the filament through the extruder. And this is, again, going to do 50 millimeters. I'm going to enter that command and that started. So let's take a quick look at the printer. And we notice down here the extruder is turning. I'm just checking the filament is feeding through. It's very slowly coming out down here at the bottom. And I guess I should point out. I'm using the BQH2B2S extruder, which I really like, and I've converted it over to use a volcano hot end. Now this, as I said, is extruding. Now, it's finished, so let me get rid of my excess filament. And I'm going to go back to my calipers. I have my calipers, they're set to zero. And then I'm very carefully going to measure figure out exactly 
how much filament is left. So this is telling me make this a little bit more. There we go. So it looks like I'm 1706. So let's go back to my spreadsheet and I'm going to put it on the screen so you can see it. So let's type in 17.06. Now that tells me the actual extruding distance. And then the best thing we need to do is we need to go back over to our interface here. I'm going to go to machine and my printer.config. And I want to scroll down to my extruder. And I apologize if you hear my dog in the background. She had to be in here with me. So I'm going to copy my current rotational distance, go back to my spreadsheet, and I'm going to paste that value in here. So now what that's done is that's taken how much filament I actually extruded and giving me a new rotational distance. So I'm going to copy that value, go back over here to printer.config, and paste that value in and save and restart. And that'll take a minute for Clipper to restart. At the same time it's restarting, it's basically setting my temperature back to zero, which is fine. We'll give this a second. There we go. And now I have my new rotational distance in, which again is equal to E steps. So that should give me, should do exactly what I need. Um, so I have the correct E steps slash rotational distance in, and I should be good to go. So if you have any questions, please post them in the comments below. I appreciate your time. Again, thanks for joining me, and I hope to talk to you again soon. Have a good day. Bye. Hi, this is Mike from Minimal 3DP, and I want to thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. If you need some additional help, I've also posted some links in the video description. You can set up a 15 minute help session with me and I'm more than happy to sit down with you and see if I can help you out. If you need some additional help, I'm also going to try doing one hour sessions for anybody that's interested. And like I said, I'm testing this stuff out. I wanna thank you again for joining me and I look forward to talking to you again next time. Thanks, have a good day.